So now, if you saw the last video, um, this may look almost exactly the same. There's a little bit of difference though. We have an op amp here. It's wired as an inverting comparator. So right now the output is high because that's how I wired the uh, red LED. Our uh, trim pot is set to a low voltage. We can go anywhere uh, below half of the supply voltage. This uh, trim pot is wired as a voltage divider. Once I raise the uh, trim pot voltage above half of the supply voltage because of uh, these two fixed uh, resistors right there, then we have a higher input. And uh, thus we have a low output right there. So you can see here that we would have to be connected to ground there, which is low, in order for that LED to light up. Longer lead the anode is down below, uh, shorter lead the cathode's up one row, uh, 1K uh, resistor right there. And uh, if I lower the trim pot closer to uh, 0 volts below, about 2.5 volts, now the red LED is uh, lit up. So we got to have positive coming from the output. It's not a direct connection, um, but in any case, long lead. Uh, short lead there. I put the LEDs in opposite directions. Got to put them in the right way or they won't light up. 220 ohm resistor coming to the negative supply. So you know if the LED is lit up, that side is uh, negative. So that side over there must be more positive, which we consider high. And zooming in on the diagram I put together, I did notice uh, I wrote the uh, pin numbers on there. I don't usually do that. I did in the last video as well. It was on the diagram. These are old uh, diagrams though. Um, but uh, in any case, so we got number one, that's the top left pin. You work your way down to four and then jump across to five and work your way up. But we're not using that second op amp. We're only using one out of two of them. Also, when you're looking at op amp or comparator circuits, the plus may be on top and the minus may be on bottom. Uh, they will draw it however it makes the schematic look better. Uh, but the physical component is uh, always the same pin layout uh, right there. Um, so if you're using an LM358, got the output on top, the inverting input uh, below it, and the non-inverting input below that. You also have to power it, which may not always be shown. So always remember that if you're looking at op app schematics. So we have our signal. That is the trim pot there. We can go all the way up to 5 volts, down to 0 volts, anywhere in between. And um, so that is our signal. The output though wants to be more like the non-inverting input. So that's where we have our fixed voltage right there of about 2.5 volts. Half of whatever the supply voltage is right there because they're equal value uh, resistors. And uh, you could probably even go a lot higher than this. It will probably work just fine. The uh, inputs don't let current in or out. They just look at the voltage. Although just a spec does leak uh, through. Be aware of that. Um, so if you go high enough in resistance it may make a difference due to the current that leaks through but very little leaks through so in any case if the voltage is high enough here remember the output wants to be more like the non-inverting input and we don't have any uh, feedback at all so it's just comparing the two that's all that it's doing so if this one is higher than 2.5 volts then uh, the reference voltage here is lower to the uh, non-inverting input so the output will be low blue LED will light up as we saw farther away uh, and again, if you put the trim pot low enough, low enough voltage, it will fall below the uh, reference voltage. So reference voltage will end up being higher. Again, the output wants to be like it. So it has to go through some transistors so you lose some voltage, but uh, ultimately you get close to the 5 volts. The red LED lights up. It heads to ground uh, right there. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, blue LEDs uh, get a lot brighter at the same current than red LEDs, so we have a higher value resistor, 1000 ohm versus 220 ohms for the red LED. And you may be wondering, uh, these are in series, That's some, so you may think that they're always lit up, but uh, if you have uh, current going through this resistor and LED and uh, the output's low, that's the easy path to ground. Just gonna get sucked to ground. There's no reason for the current to continue going there. It's a difficult course compared to direct to uh, ground. And the same with if you have a 5 volt at the output right there. That's also 5 volts. So I want to push current uh, this way, but uh, it won't really want to have current come that way because it will run up to uh, close to the same uh, voltage there. Um, so I thought I would just mention that. Every once in a while somebody brings that up. Uh, they get kind of confused about that. So when I said the LEDs are in the opposite way, I meant from how I normally put them in. So usually I work positive up, down to negative, but here we got positive there down lower. So that's the longer lead right there is down lower. If I put it in the other way, it won't light up. And the red LED, same thing, because just the way that I wired it. 
the logger lead is down below and uh, had a little trouble aiming there because I'm looking through the camera and uh, there you can see red LED is uh, lit up as I said before that's uh, more positive but there you can see the trim pot is uh, pretty much down to the negative until I get up above and uh, now we got positive from the uh, trim pot higher than 2.5 volts and uh, blue LED is lit up so it's the output we are uh, thinking about so that's positive which means that this must be going down to negative and I bumped the uh, power supply and uh, that's why we lost uh, the connection and it says current is flowing that is weird so now we are back you can see we got about three milliamps of current flowing I actually uh, rewired this we're just going to the uh, negative supply the uh, LED um, sometimes like lights up briefly if you uh, touch it there you go got some flashes from it um but uh, you'll notice I yank it uh, current goes way down for some reason uh, the LED just went faulty um, that's a uh, very unusual so I'll plug uh, this one in should turn on stay on but that's not the output uh, there and um, so this uh, if it was on the edge of like three milliamps of current it might say uh, two you know um, two to three so we can't say that's a uh, different uh, current but there we go to the output uh, now and uh, now you can see we got the blue LED on again so yeah I don't know what's wrong with this it's a little faulty as soon as I realize one's faulty if uh, I can't just toss it right away because I'm making a video or whatever I just you know, mangle it like that it's pretty obvious and throw it off to the side um, so in any case uh, that's about it as we said uh, before we had the reference voltage that's uh, two equal uh, resistors it's kind of hard to see on uh, the board there so I'll zoom in we can take a look at that you can see one of them a 10k 10,000 ohm resistor and then uh, the other uh, one right there going to the negative supply one to the positive supply one to the negative so hopefully you can see all of that wiring right there so in any case uh, that's it for this video hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted to the screen and uh, check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video